Hi everybody, Brian from Water Control checking in. You know, every one of us has probably visited a home, a resort, or a cabin where we literally had to plug our nose in the shower because the water stinks like rotten eggs. It can be almost unbearable at times. So what's actually causing this nastiness? Well, the culprit is hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is a noxious, flammable, poisonous gas when in high concentrations. It's soluble in water, though it rarely ever rises above 10 parts per million. This gas is formed by sulfur-reducing anaerobic bacteria. These bacteria feed on organic materials in the groundwater. Trace elements of iron and magnesium in that water can actually catalyze their growth and development, speed it up. And as a waste product, they produce this nasty gas. If the rotten egg odor is only present in a hot water system with no trace of it in the cold water, it may actually be that the magnesium anode rod in the water heater is helping to catalyze the naturally occurring sulfur reducing bacteria. But the solution is not to eliminate the anode rod altogether. The solution is to replace the anode rod with one made of a different material like aluminum or zinc. Though it's rarely in high enough concentration in your water to poison or kill, it is certainly disgusting. And it's also damaging to plumbing systems because it renders the water a little bit acidic. This can lead to corrosion in copper and lead and steel piping, and it can also eventually ruin the ion exchange media in your water softener. So getting rid of hydrogen sulfide normally involves oxidation and filtration. It's very similar to the way that we treat iron or manganese issues. In fact, most residential and commercial iron filters will do a pretty good job of handling the, the normal levels that we see in drinking water. When oxidized by the filter, the hydrogen sulfide is reduced to its basic elements. The sulfur in particular becomes a non-soluble solid, which is then trapped in the media and blown down the drain during backwashing. Chemical injection systems using chlorine or potassium permanganate or hydrogen peroxide or even ozone will have a similar effect and the sulfur can be filtered out via mechanical filtration. A carbon filter is also capable of filtering out lower levels of hydrogen sulfide gas. Uh, the media absorbs the gas and eventually must be replaced. Different means of aerating that carbon media can aid in oxidizing the hydrogen sulfide so it can be backwashed out and that media life can actually be extended. Note that the sulfur reducing bacterial infestations in wells and plumbing systems may also require periodic shock chlorine treatment. Water control offers several different methods for dealing with hydrogen sulfide problems in both residential and commercial applications. To learn more about those solutions, please contact Water Control today.